And one of the stars of Disney Plus is the Mighty Ducks Game Changers, my friend Maxwell Simpkins. Good to see oh, you. Oh, hello. Good to see you, it's man. Great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, really. come on now. When we first met on the set, freezing our butts off in Santa right. Clarita, That's California, right. at a That's hockey right. rink, That's right. um, you were saying big, you're a big sports fan. I'm like, hey, when this thing comes out, you'll come on the show. Thank you so much. And yeah. now you are. The Mighty Ducks Game Changers Disney Plus has it airing Wednesdays. Currently in season two, we had Josh Dumel on a couple weeks ago, and yes. the man who plays Nick Gans, my friend, who I got to meet because we were in a couple of scenes together, Maxwell Simpkins. Max, good to see you again here thank on the you show. So much. You got a brother. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so, you. Um, are you uh, are you a, a Philly sports fan? That's what everything you are, Philly. Right? I was born and raised in Philadelphia, so everything everything Philly sports I love, except except the Flyers. I, I'm sorry, as, as as well as they're doing this year, I can't, I can't just because yeah. just because I was on the Ducks. So mm-hmm. That's my team, and they were so welcoming. Okay, like we had the premiere season two at the at the Honda Center. Uh huh. We got to go in the locker room, hang with the players after the game. I mean, Phil, uh, Flyers. If you guys do that with me, I mean, maybe we can catch <laughs> up. But like right now, kind of trailing. So so they're slacking. They're slacking a little bit. I'm not gonna, lie. not gonna lie. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. So so you're easily bought. Is what I'm you're easily. Saying. Well. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. A little bit. A little bit. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, at least. So, what was that like to be amongst the players like that? It was you and the rest of the cast down at the yeah. uh, down at the pond. Yeah, that Diana? was that was crazy. I mean, they brought us to a couple of games. Mm-hmm. Uh, we actually filmed our uh, no, our scenes weren't there, but we uh, the kids got to skate on the actual ice. Yeah, we got to play there. We got to hang in the hang in the like owners box and stuff. It was really cool. I mean, not many people get to say they. They got to rent out like a, yeah. a sports arena. That was crazy. Right. So, um, yeah, that was really cool. And then after the preseason game we got to go to, uh, all the players were like hanging out with us. And yeah, they're so friendly and really, really great people. So, did you have to learn how to skate for this role, Max? Kind of? They thought I knew how to skate, but I didn't. So, that's good. That's how good. Many, how many guests have we had here, Chris, who have faked their way into success many times? All of them. Okay, very good. All of them. There we go. We there like we go. that. We like that. So, okay. So, did you? How much skating did you have to do for this sort of thing? Well, before each season, mm-hmm. no, they put us to like a boot camp. Oh. So we had to go every day. Uh-huh. To me, it was super early. It was like nine o'clock. Right. You know, I'm growing. Still got to grow. So that's 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 early for me. <laughs> but um, every day, nine nice. in the morning, we get there. We skate on the ice real hard. Yeah. Like three hours. Three hours. Damn. Yeah, it's a long time for me. Right. And then um, for anybody. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, just not me. Yeah. And then um, we did that both seasons, though. I know Josh talked about that when he was on here. Yeah. He he actually said he went and threw up after he did that. That's and what I was said. watching that. I had no clue. He was out there like skating on tippy toes. I thought he was pro. So yeah, really? he tricked me. He tricked so me you real good. he tricked you. He tricked me real good. I guess yeah. he's a good actor, right? Exactly. You're all good actors. Oh, there. thank you. Thank you I did much. have so much fun doing this. Thank you. Thank you. It was really fun. I did. I had fun. I fun. Now, when you say, were we technically, we were technically working together, Yeah, right? I mean, I, I guess so, yeah. You carried me a couple times. Yeah, my back scenes. hurt. Oh, I took I like a lot of Advil. I did. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I know you are, because yeah. I, I, I carried some scenes yeah, myself. True. You that's were true. in them. That's right. I was in them by myself. Yeah, so yeah that's I had right. To, I had no choice but to carry <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You know, for sure. And yeah. you were telling me you were just a big fill. And when you sat down... You looked at TJ's corner. You said, "Nice Dr. J poster." That's right. That. So you've got that. the old, the old school. Yes. Love well, of it. Where I remember. Do you get I, that I from? told I told you that about my pops. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. He um he was actually roommates with uh, Michael Jordan in college. He, he went to <laughs> North Carolina. I forget what year. It was probably like the eighties. Eighty three, eighty four. Eighty three, eighty four. You're stunned over there, Chris. You stunned over there about that? Wait, what? Say that. Say all that again. His father was roommates at North Carolina with Michael Jordan. Come on. The Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Come on. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So have you met Michael Jeffrey Jordan in your yeah, time? Yeah, a bunch of times. Yeah, he's like he's like a good family member. He's, he's a really good guy. Yeah. So did you knew him as your dad's roommate before you knew him as Air Jordan, or you? Well, when I was little, I don't. It's gonna sound stupid. I didn't know who he was. When, when I was like five, like, I mean, come on, like, well, yeah. no, I, when you no, were five, you didn't know who Dr. J was. <laughs> did, did you? Did, did, did you? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember when you were five? Okay, that's okay. So, so when I was five, yeah. like, I would go to his house in Florida, and I'd be like, hey, what's up? Like, I didn't know. I yeah. just knew, oh, my dad's friends with this guy. He has a cool house, cool cars, mm-hmm. cool guy, you know? Did, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't think nothing of it. Did you play poker with him? Yeah, no, okay. no, pops didn't let me at the table. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, pops but then as the I table. got older, um, I'm a huge basketball fanatic now. So yeah. 
like I only average like six points a game I play yeah. for my school. Yeah. But I still watch like the Michael Jordan highlights before every game. And I like pump myself of up. Of course you do. So like now when I saw him over the summer, we, he was fishing in Atlantic City and my dad and him, we hung out and catch 23. And that was a really cool experience. And it was like, wow, yeah, Michael Jordan. Chill yeah, him. It's, it is it's crazy. Dude, that's some cool dad wow. points. It's, it's a really cool dad. Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, me, I'm like, you know, hey, there's uh, Chris Brockman. You want to meet him? Hey, <laughs> I'll come over to your house. Hey. Yeah, it's, it's Chris. Hey, hey, Rich. Nah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, just great. It's yeah, been great. Yeah. So that's cool. Who else have you met through your dad? Um, I don't know if this really counts. Uh, my dad's also real good friends with uh, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, not Wayne Gretzky. Um, I did meet Wayne Gretzky when I was very little. That counts. I, okay. Yeah. I've met Shaq. I've met um, yeah Mario Lemieux. That's it. Mario Lemieux a bunch of times. Mario Lemieux really good that guy. That definitely counts. Yeah, oh, definitely counts. Oh, All right, yeah, for sure. Um, this is uh not a sports player, but William Wesley. Do we know him? Worldwide West. Worldwide yeah, yeah, West. Yeah. That's Uncle West. There you go. Uh, Uncle, Uncle West. West. Wow. This is great. My man is connected to right? the yes, right. <laughs> You may not, hold on a second. Just if you don't mind me okay. stepping yeah, in yeah, here yeah, a second. You may not ask him for shoes. Do not I'm ask our guests for shoes. Size 11. You understand? Size 11? I'm 10 and a half. I got you. Hey, Maxwell, we good. Are you 10 and a half? Yeah. I have big hey. feet, man. I have big feet. These Dude, are 10. They're real small, though. What do you think of his shoes right here? They're nice. Now, yeah. I noticed them when they walked in. We Thank didn't you. talk about it. I mean, the off white t shirt, it's all good. Thank you. We got the chain on the back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The shoes. Yeah. You know, it's little yeah. things. What's the lid about the MAB? The lid? Oh, it's my brand. It's just something cool. Your brand? Yes. Tell me about your brand. It's Make a Billion. Um, I, don't <laughs> know, I, I don't know. I thought it was cool. Uh, Tell me about it. Um, so basically. That's what you do. You come on shows like this and promote. You know how it works. Go for it. Do not be ashamed. My, my phrase is, if not me, who, and if not now, when? Oh, all right. I like that. The then. floor is yours, right, Max. Here Simpkins. we go. Thank yeah. you. Um, welcome. Well, I love Off-White. Rest in peace to Virgil. Uh, brilliant creator. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite brand. And when he passed, I was like, wow, well, things like that that, you know, leave a legacy. So I was like, why not try my own? And I've been in the works of trying to make my own clothing brand. And I don't know, even if it doesn't, like, sell out, it's just something for me. You know, it's like something I find really cool. Damn straight. How, can, right. people, how can people get it? That's right, exactly. Uh, you can go to shop-mab.com. Okay. And, yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, I, like I said, I had so much fun meeting you. Thank you And so I much. said, Let, let's, you come on, and we'll promote it. The Mighty Ducks Game Changers, again, airs Wednesday on Disney+. Plus. Currently in Season 2, the season finale, the stirring season finale. We just yes. saw a clip yes, from yes, it yes. on uh, on the 30th of November. Do you, do we know if there's going to be a Season 3? Do we know uh, Not season? yet. It's like every time we find out, depending on how good the season does. Well, then that's why we're promoting it. That's Let's right. There this. we go. There we go. Come Let's on. Let's get this. I've got, a, I've got a character to protect. That's right. Exactly. you got you got to come back for... <laughs> we have chemistry, man. That's right. We can't break that's this right. team you up. You can't break it up. It's like the Bulls. Creepy. There you go. See, there you go. Don't break up the ball. Okay. What do you think of your Eagles, brother? Oh, we're doing incredible. Eight and zero right now. Well, no, we're yeah, actually. You are. You're eight and zero. We're eight and zero. You're eight yes, no? we are. I was Just about to say seven and zero. Thursday, I last Thursday, you there beat you the uh, the the Texans. That's right. That's right. We're doing real good. Jalen Hurts. I'm not gonna lie. Before I didn't like him. Now we're doing good. I love him. So I like. You, th you thought you needed to see more from him before that's you right. were in there. But now, now with AJ Brown, you he's know, your quarterback for life, man. That's right. I'm that's telling right. you. you... I, I met Devontae Smith when he was just being drafted. A really funny story, really quick. Go ahead. So I would met him at a Sixers game. So we were talking about him. He. This is before he was drafted. So I was talking to his agent. At this point, they were all like, "Yeah, he's going number one pick. Number one pick." I said, yeah, we need you at the Eagles. He's like, no way. We're not going to the Eagles. No way. No way. He's like, we're going number one. We're going to, like, the Rams or something. Right. And then I texted him the day he got drafted. Ha ha, you're at the Eagles. And it was just, I thought it was the funniest and thing. And now the joke's on the rest of the league. Yeah, because we're doing incredible. And now everyone calls him Smithy. Like, this is it. That's right. Okay, eight no. Eight this no. is good. You you Now you are, if I'm not mistaken, 16, right? Yes. Okay, you yes. do know that. The Eagles aren't supposed to be Super Bowl worthy once every four years, right? Like that's never yes. happened. Yes, yes, yes. Like, I know. You this. do know, realize that you're in a very fortunate part of your of course Philadelphia fandom. Of course, yes. Um, okay. I do understand. It's like my grandparents only seen them win once, and they're like 70, 80? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. They're probably watching. This. I feel bad now. I feel bad now. My mom's looking at me like cut it tape. Uh, no, but uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, they've only seen him win once, and Philly went crazy with me once. Yeah. So I think maybe. I mean, I never know. I never know. Maybe we do real good this year. We go all the way. I mean, let's hope so. Well, again, the Phillies' terrific run. That's right. They're there, right. and you got the Eagles doing what they're doing. Right. The that's Sixers, right. you need a little bit more from. Yeah, yeah, and beat. 
I love you, man, but you gotta, you gotta pick it up a little bit. Can you do bit, that? You got, and of course, you know the Flyers. They can pound sand because they haven't that's treated right. you yeah, like uh, right. they haven't treated you like the Ducks. That's right. That's <laughs> exactly. So funny. You, gotta, you gotta do a game changer show starring the Flyers instead that's of the right. Mighty Ducks. Thank you. There you go. Uh, what a pleasure, man. Thank you so much, really. When we get season three picked up. Yes. Okay. Yes. We'll do this again. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. And say hi to Uncle MJ for us. Gotcha. All right, okay, we'll do it. Uh, the Mighty Ducks Game Changers again airs Wednesdays on Disney Plus, currently in season two, every single Wednesday, all the way up until the finale on the 30th of November. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.